Give me peace in my heart, O God, that I may forgive when I am slighted, that I may love without judgment, that I may be thankful for all that I have, that I may be the person you want me to be. Amen. Welcome to Metropolitan Community Church of Windsor for Sunday, March 10th, 2024, the fourth Sunday in Lent. As they went on their way, Jesus entered a certain village. A certain woman named Martha received him into her home. Her sister, called Mary, also met him and sat at the feet of Jesus to hear his word. But Martha was distracted with much serving, and she came up to Jesus and said, Lord, don't you care? My sister left me alone to serve alone. Ask her, therefore, to help me. Jesus answered her, Martha, Martha, you're anxious. You're troubled about many things. But one thing is needed. Mary has chosen the good part, which will not be taken away from her. A few weeks ago, we started Lent, the season of repentance, asking for God's forgiveness, and preparation for Easter, as well as a sermon series called Meals with Jesus. I'm hoping that it'll help us see Jesus' heart to those around him through his ministry and interaction with different meals, with average men and women, sinners. Meals not only nourish the body, but the soul as well. Pray with me. Heavenly Creator, thank you so much for bringing us together to hear your word and your message in the way we need to receive it today. Amen. In our scripture reading today, we see that Jesus and his disciples are on their way, just doing his ministry. They entered a certain village they've been in many times before. Here, a woman named Martha welcomed Jesus into her home. She lived with a woman many believed to be her sister named Mary. We've heard about Mary and Martha before, different times in the gospel. Once was when Jesus raised his beloved Lazarus from the dead. Lazarus was a brother to Mary and Martha. These people were just average sinners, average people. But Jesus loved them anyway. Jesus entered their home. Mary just sat at Jesus' feet and hear his word, his teaching. But Martha was distracted, getting everything ready for the meal and all. And she was kind of annoyed that Mary wasn't helping. So she came to Jesus and said, Lord, don't you care? Mary left me all alone to serve. Ask her to help. But Jesus answered her, Martha, Martha, you're anxious about many things. But one thing is needed. Mary has chosen the good part, which will not be taken away from her. Meaning, Martha was stressed and busy working in the kitchen since they got there, getting everything ready for dinner. But Mary showed true hospitality with Jesus, just being with him. The def definition of hospitality, taken from the Oxford Dictionary, says hospitality means extending a welcome to our guest and offering a home away from home, receiving and entertaining guests in a way that makes them feel well taken care of. For example, MCC Windsor is known for its hospitality. Jesus lived hospitality. The friendly and generous reception, his ministry amazed and entertained guests and strangers. Jesus is our example of Christian hospitality. Being hospitality focuses on serving, encouraging, and giving value to others. Hospitality is the heart of Christian faith. And Jesus serves as that perfect example that we need to emulate. By welcoming the outsiders, humbly serving others, making them feel safe and welcome, and just actively engaging people. Jesus practiced hospitality in a way that we need to practice it as well. Hospitality is extremely important in the Bible in general 
and in Luke's gospel specifically. We see where Jesus welcomed outsiders, where he humbly served others, where he helped others feel safe through his authenticity, unconditional love, and acceptance, and where Jesus drew people out and engaged them just for who they were. We do know that Jesus invites all of us as we are, whether we're worried or distracted by the many things in life, just to sit in his presence and hear his words, his grace and truth, his love and acceptance is there for us. Let us just sit by Jesus and focus on that and soak it in. When we love others, we are showing our love for God. God loves us completely and unconditionally. The same way we need to love and serve others in the community through hospitality. When we do, we're also serving God. Many of us make that same mistake Martha made. We get so busy working or going to school, playing on technology, watching TV, that we often forget the most important thing, loving God and loving your neighbor as yourself, showing hospitality to others as you'd want shown to you. We must be careful that we don't get so busy in life that we forget that. Hospitality is key when thinking to the golden rule of loving God and loving your neighbor, your fellow human beings, in the same way that you love yourself. Showing others hospitality we would want to show to us is a major part of the law that Jesus gave us in that golden rule. Let us be the hospitable ones to each other, our community, and to the world, like Jesus did. Sitting there in that unconditional, all-accepting love at that dinner with Mary and Martha, average women, average people, sinners, just like you and me, you can really feel the love in that meal with Jesus. Amen. Creator God of heaven and earth, with gladness we praise you, for you create all things and sustain all things, for making us in your image to love one another and care for your creation. We give you thanks. For the gift of Christ who redeems and guides us according to your will, baptizing us through the church to be your people in this world of love, we give you thanks. By your Holy Spirit, empower us to show your love to others as we pray for the church and those part of it, the community in which we live and love as well as the world, that we may learn to revere and care for it and for those who rule in the nations of the world. We offer prayer for those who serve as teachers healers and caregivers, for the poor, the homeless, the hungry, for those who mourn and are alone, and those in prison for defending truth or justice, we offer prayer. For the powerless and the oppressed in all nations, those who are persecuted in service of Christ, and for those who need our ministry as our servants, we offer prayer. Heavenly Creator, we know you hear all prayer, regardless of spoken aloud or kept silent in our hearts. Hear now the unspoken prayers of the people. Amen. Now let us join together in saying a prayer similar to the one Jesus taught us so many years ago. Heavenly Creator, who is part of a greater realm, your many names are holy indeed. One day we will be part of your realm, but for now we're here in this one to spread your love. We are so blessed to have your unconditional love and forgiveness. 
Help us to show that love and forgiveness for all people. Help us to walk a path of compassion and help us to find our way when we're lost. Your powerful love, compassion, and acceptance are to be glorified for all time. Amen. God be with you and also with you. Lift your hearts. We lift them to God. Let us praise God. It is right and good to give God thanks and praise. It is a good and joyful thing, always and everywhere, to give thanks to you, O God, creator of heaven and earth. You formed us in your image of love. Awesome God, we thank you for that and for your righteousness at work in us. We thank you for your justice at work through us. We thank you for your mercy at work all around us. With you, we have hope, unconditional love, and acceptance. To you, we give all praise. <clears throat> In metropolitan community churches around the world, we celebrate an open communion. That means you don't have to be a member of this church or any church to be welcome at this table. You, as you are, are welcome, completely, fully welcome at this table of love that Jesus set for us so many years ago. You are welcome at MCC Windsor. Our fruit of the vine is grape juice, alcohol free. At that table of love, Jesus shared a meal with his beloved friends. He took bread, blessed it, broke it, and said, this is the bread of life and acceptance. When you eat it, do so in remembrance of me. In a similar fashion, Jesus took a cup, raised it, blessed it, and said, this is the cup of God's grace. In it, my love is poured out for you. When you drink it, do so in remembrance of me. Gracious God, we thank you now for your love and grace that's poured out into this bread and this cup upon each one of us, that by sharing this meal together, we might become one with you and one with each other so that we may go into the world spreading your message of unconditional love and acceptance. We are so blessed to follow your law of love. Amen. Let us pray. We thank you, merciful God, for this blessed and sacred meal, for the nourishment of your love and acceptance. May your spirit go with us from here, giving us the strength to share your hope and love with our neighbor and the world. Amen. Thank you for joining us today. Your support, your thoughts, your prayers, your clicking on the like and subscribe buttons below. And of course, your financial contributions are all gratefully appreciated as they enable us to continue this ministry. If you would like to join us in person at Metropolitan Community Church of Windsor, we meet every Sunday at Emmanuel United Church, 1728 Lincoln Road, Windsor, Ontario, Canada, every Sunday afternoon at 2 p.m. Eastern. Do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your minds so that you may discern what is the will of God, what is good, acceptable, and perfect. May the God who has created us, Christ who saves us, and the Holy Spirit, our comfort and our strength, be with us now as we go our separate ways. And all God's children said, Amen.